look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show if you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I will be discussing with you right now, ladies and gentlemen, is how women love to claim that they are alpha females. And I'm going to tell you there is no such thing as an alpha female. What you have is a bunch of women who are adopting traits of masculinity, and they mistakenly call it being, uh, being an alpha. Alphas are only reserved for men, Okay. But we're going to go ahead and get into this right quick. I'm going to let you um, hear these women go off and say that they're alpha females. And I will provide to you my analytical um, commentary with this reaction video. Hold on for a second. I'll put it on your screen, y'all. Boom. All right. And as I always say, let me make sure. Yeah, let's get it. But I'm a woman. So you're telling me something that I'm telling you is not true. I look at myself as an alpha female. The reason I'm not, I'm not bigger. I'm not stronger. Lord knows I can't wait till an alpha male comes in my life and takes over. I'm an alpha. <clears throat> and here you go. An alpha male is not going to want an alpha female. When you say that you are alpha female, you're saying that you are lacking in femininity. So a man who is masculine is not going to desire a woman who is also showing him traits of masculinity. It's going to be offensive to him. He's going to feel as if he has to be defensive or combative with you because you're going to come across as a provocateur. You're going to come across as somebody who is already aggressive. You're going to come across as someone who is stubborn and hard-headed and who's going to always challenge his, his authority. So alpha men, real alpha men, do not desire alpha women, as you call themselves. But I'm not going to even call them alpha women no more. I'm just going to call them women with masculine traits. That's what I'm going to call these women because I cannot recognize them as alpha females. When women call themselves alpha women, alpha females, it's just another way of them trying to be a man You know how women say Well if a man can sleep with a bunch of women Then why can't a woman do it A man gonna be called a player if he sleeps with a bunch of women But if a woman does it She's gonna be called a harlot and stuff like that It's just another way of women trying to emasculate men And putting themselves in the positions of men There's no such thing as an alpha female Alpha fe uh, alpha woman It's no such thing It's only a woman who adopts Traits of masculinity and even when they adopt the traits of masculinity, they are still not masculine They are just acting masculine. You get what I'm saying? Because masculinity is only reserved for men Okay, regardless of how uh, uh, and how rough they talk and whatever they want to be they are acting They are mimicking they are pretending to be masculine Okay, it's like being uh, on being in Halloween and you put on a costume of a ghost you're acting like a ghost. You're putting it on, but you're not that ghost. You're not that costume. So that's what women are. When they try to act masculine, they are not men. They just act like they are. They mimic it. You get what I'm saying? So let's keep going. Alpha female because I run, I am the head of my household. So how a man would be ahead of his household and run things, I have to do that until a man comes in and does that. Yes, I am an alpha. The bills are paid by me. My kids are taken care of by me. I run everything that goes on in my life and my children's life to a T. Now, let's also talk about that. All right. Oddly enough, women like her confuse responsibilities with being masculine. Responsibilities does not necessarily mean that you're that you have masculinity. OK, you can still be a feminine woman who walks in her femininity and still take care of your responsibilities. See, women think because they can pay the bill. As she said, rear her own children up. She could put food on the table that that makes her masculine, that that makes her an alpha female. No, it just makes you a responsible adult. OK, I don't know why y'all do this shit, but responsibility is not limited to gender. Yeah, responsibility is not limited to gender. OK, a man could be responsible. A woman could be responsible. An alpha male could be responsible. A beta male could be responsible. You get what I'm saying? A feminine woman could be responsible. A woman who is not feminine could be responsible. So don't think because you're able to pay all your bills that you can keep the lights on, that you can pay your car note, your insurance, and whatever it may be and take care of your children that you have a pookie, ray ray, and nook nook, that that makes you an alpha woman or if that makes you, um, you know, 
masculine. No, it just makes you responsible. So I wanted to break that down because for some reason, a lot of women think responsibilities can make you into a man or can make you come across as masculine when it's not. You're just being responsible. You're being an adult. Congratulations. Let's keep going. Nothing does not move unless it moves through me. I'm an alpha female. I'm in the working field. I'm competitively in the working okay, field. I'm, I'm not beneath any... I tell you what, boy, these women are lost like lost like crazy, boy. I got another one to tell you. See, women don't understand. You know, when you have women who are in the alphabet community, um, this is not insulting the LGBTQIA. This is just my humble opinion. Even the women, excuse me, even the women who carry themselves in the masculine position are not men, okay? Regardless of what they say or regardless of what they feel, this is the reason why women who claim to be, um, you know, studs or whatever it is, they say they identify as a man. When you identify as a man, it does not necessarily mean that you are a man because a man is born with a penis and other things. Women are born with uterus and other things. So biologically, you're not a man. But in your mind, you identify as it. So what does that mean? That means that these women who are actually born as biological women they have adopted traits of masculinity. They they exhibit traits of masculinity. The ones who are supposed to be studs or whatnot, right? Are they men? No. Do they try to act like a man? Yes. You get what I'm saying? So when we find a woman who says she is a quote unquote alpha female, she is only acting. She is only pretending. She is only mimicking. Okay? She is an imposter to masculinity. To the house of masculinity, she is a reject, a misfit, okay? And that's not bashing members in the um El the alphabet community or, or women at all. It's just a fact. Masculinity belongs only to men, okay? Let's keep going. I don't like being an alpha female all the time. I don't like having my guard up all the time. But I refuse to follow behind someone who don't know how to lead me. Cause one thing I know is how to lead myself. I don't wanna be a crash test dummy for you, following behind you and hopefully you lead me down the right path. I know how to lead myself. So you better have it figured out or I'm not going to. Notice the aggression in her voice, okay? I know how to lead myself, but you better know how. Look, <clears throat> that's the reason why you're single. That's why you're on TikTok making a video right now saying why you can't get a man because your demands are just out of this world. Again, like I said earlier, a man is not going to want a woman who has masculine traits. You're not demanding a man to lead you. You better, you better, you better, you better. For every ounce of masculinity that exists in a woman's heart is one ounce of of femininity that is gone. You get what I'm saying? Every little bit of masculinity, it's a give and take. Whenever you take on a little bit of masculinity, then a little bit of femininity leaves you, okay? And if you're not careful, you're going to be so full of masculinity that true alpha masculine men are not going to find you attractive. They may sleep with you. They may not. There are some alpha men who just only sleep with women who are feminine, who are soft and gentle. And then there are alpha men who will just, I'll sleep with her. She got a little masculinity and stuff like that, but I would never, ever be in a relationship with her. But a beta male be with you. And when they get a beta male, they don't respect them. They want a man to lead them. But a man is not going to lead a woman who wants to be led a certain type of way. You can't say you can lead me, but you got to lead me this way. You got to lead me that way. Okay, and when you deal with a real alpha man, there is no equal. There is no we're equals. There is no um, co-pilots and all this. No, I am the leader. You will follow. Now, I would not disrespect you. I, I would not run over you, but I would treat you as a woman as you treat me as a man. I have the final say, regardless of how you feel. See, a lot of you say you want real men. A lot of you say you want real leaders until he tell you no, until he tell you stop that. Until he tell you cut them friends off. Until he tell you to do X, Y, and Z. And then you say, I don't want him. He's controlling. It's not controlling. But I'm going to tell you something. With every position of leadership, there is a degree of control. If you have a boss over you, he controls the work schedule. He controls when you come and go um, to work. He controls um, if he lets you work on holidays or not. That's what I want to Y'all associate controlling as if it's negative. 
It's not negative because there's always control in every form of leadership. When you have parents and your parents run the household and you were a child, your parents have full control over you. They could tell you to go take out the trash now. They could wake you up out the bed right now and tell you to do this and do that. They can tell you to go cut the grass. Why? Because they control you, but they loved you at the same time. Now, I'm not talking about abusive parents. I'm talking about good parents who actually exercise their par um, the parental rights over you and they gave you discipline. They instructed you. They control you. So a man does have the right to control a woman that he claimed is his. OK, he's not supposed to be a, bond, a slave master, but every man has the right to control his woman. I know that just pissed everybody off, but it is the truth. And I don't give a damn. A man has every right to control his woman. Period. So you just deal with that. If you don't want the control, then you don't want the leadership. And if you don't want the leadership, then you don't want the man. And one of the forms of control comes through correction and guidance. It ain't always providing for you. There's more to a man that's just, than just giving you things. Okay. Now, let's keep going. Submit to you. Being an alpha female, for me, is definitely a defense mechanism. I do like being in control. I do like knowing that I have, you know, a lot of things figured out. And a lot of things under control, but I would definitely prefer for my spouse to be just as level-headed as me, have as much figured out as I do, so I don't have to all the time. So this woman wants a man like her. Marry yourself. He got to be this. He got to be as level-headed as me. You know, you never get into a relationship with someone who has, who has everything the same as you do. They never do. Either one person might it's say uh, one person might cook better than another person. OK, one person may be cleaner than the other person. Uh huh. One person may be better at handling bills and budgeting better than the other person. That's why I say every time women say I want an equal, I want my man to be my equal. He don't exist. OK, she don't exist. No one is equal in that way, especially in power. There's always power imbalances that exist in life. And you have the weak and the strong. You have the healthy and the sick. OK, you have the tall and the short. You have the fat and the skinny. There's always going to be power imbalances in life. That just is what it is. And then for, and for you, I ain't going to say unfortunately, fortunately for you, the man is higher than you. The man is more stronger than you, powerful than you. We could not be protectors and provide, especially providers, if we was your level, at your level, or weaker than you. You get what I'm saying here, Jack? All right, y'all let me know what y'all think about this right here. I'll um, be dropping new videos on the members only, probably on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. I haven't decided what day, but um, most likely no later than Wednesday, I'll be releasing um, videos for the members only. Um, give y'all more of what y'all been paying for monthly. Greatly appreciate um, y'all support as well. Now, let me go ahead and end this video. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all take it easy now, yeah?